Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to set up Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio and then I will show you how to create Northwind database within the SQL Server which is a relational database and then how to connect to the Northwind database through SQL Server Management Studio. Now the first thing you'll have to do is to download SQL Microsoft SQL Server. So to get that, uh, just search for SQL Server and then go to the official uh, download website from Microsoft, which is this. And Microsoft offers different versions of SQL Server. So what we'll do is We'll download the developer edition, which is a full featured free edition for non-production environment. So click download now, and then it will download the installer. Then you'll double click on this and click yes. Then it will start uh, the setup process. So we'll go for the basic installation uh, we'll have to agree with the uh, license agreements we'll hit accept and this is the installation location uh, you can keep it default we'll click install and it will start installing SQL Server this is the latest edition SQL Server Management Studio and Azure Data Studio are uh, database management tools which uh, provides you with an integrated environment which you can utilize to uh, write SQL code and administer the database. So it provides you with a graphical user interface through which you can interact with the uh, underlying database and you can also use it to administer uh, the database management system like you can uh, uh, create uh, user accounts create logins uh, you can uh, set up different um, security aspects and you can take regular backups uh, so we'll utilize sql server management studio and azure data studio to interact with the uh, database hosted within the SQL Server. So, as you can see, it's taking some time to uh, set up. Okay, so it took some time, about five minutes to complete the setup. Once it's done, it will you will get this screen. Installation has completed successfully, and these are some uh, information about the server you just installed. So, instance name: the server instance name is MS SQL Server. Uh, the administrator account is uh, these, and these are the different folder location uh, for the logs and where the installation media is located. So if you want to check whether uh, the installation uh, uh, is successful, uh, you can click this connect now button. And if it shows one row is affected, that means uh, the SQL Server was installed successfully. So to set up SQL Server Management Studio, uh, you'll have to download it so you can see and then go to the official Microsoft website and then download the latest version. Okay, once the download is complete, uh, click on the installer and then click install from this window, hit yes.
Okay, once you see this screen which shows setup completed, we are done setting up SQL Server Management Studio. Then we'll open SQL Server Management Studio uh, from the search box. Uh, here you can see that uh, it's showing SQL Server Management Studio app, uh, 20 version. Okay, so this is the login screen uh, you'll see. Uh, now keep everything default, we'll use Windows authentication and select this trust server certificate option and then hit connect. And it will show that we are connected to the SQL server. This green, uh, green triangles means that we are connected to the SQL server uh, through SQL Server Management Studio. And if you expand this database folder, you will get to see that uh, there's this system databases option where we have these different, uh, different system databases like master, model, MSDB, and TempDB. These are system databases which stores meta metadata, uh, data about data. So it will store information about any database objects you create within the system, say database tables, uh, views, stored procedures, triggers, everything will be. Meta information about those database objects will be stored here. Now, what we'll do is we'll uh, import Northwin database. Northwin is a relational database uh, from Microsoft. Uh, so we'll get that uh, from the internet. So you can write Northwin database and go to the official Microsoft GitHub page where uh, this is the file. Uh, install northwind.sql so this is sql file if you click here then click here to download it and then from sql server management studio click file open new file and open the install northwind sql file so these will let us import the Northwind database where it has, it includes all the instruction to create different database objects like the tables and uh, instruction to insert uh, data within those tables. So here, if you read this documentation, this script doesn't create a database. Run this script in the database, you want the objects to be created. So these are the instructions to create all the tables and uh, populate the tables with data. But we'll have to uh, determine uh, within which database uh, it will create those database tables and populate those data. So what we'll do is we'll create a database called Northwin. So you can right click here, uh, database, then new database, and you can say write Northwind and you'll get to see that it created a, a database called Northwind here. If you expand it within the tables tab, uh, there are system tables but there are no custom tables if you check here. Now we'll go back here and make sure that the Northwind database is selected and then we'll make sure that this uh, window is active this SQL file window is active and we'll click execute and make sure that the selected database is not in so that all these instructions are executed within this database all the tables are created within this database so if you execute you can see comments se completed successfully now if you hit refresh on this not in database and expand tables you'll get to see that along with the system tables we have access to all these custom tables like customers employees so if you expand uh, this one of the tables you'll get to see what are the different columns and if you right click here and say select top uh, 1000 rows you'll see it returned 
nine records because there are nine employees in this relational database if you right click on customers then select select top 1000 rows you can see there are 91 customer information and to get the same result uh, writing a SQL query what you can do is you can click this new query button or you can right click uh, and click new query button from here either works so here you can see that Northwind database is selected so if you want to get data from the customer tables you can write select all uh, then from you'll write the table name so this is a simple SQL query where uh, it's read as select all asterisk is for all select all from the customer table so it will retrieve all records from the customer table so if you execute it now you can see that it returns 91 rows so we saw how we can uh, write a simple SQL query within SQL server management studio and execute it by clicking this button and we also saw how we can uh, use the graphical interface to retrieve say select top 1000 rows